I think in your packet you should see um, the closure order that um, we are is uh, good as of September 1st. We had some considerable damage from the June 23rd storm. Um, luckily, we didn't get as many miles damaged as the Monongahela um, National Forest, but we do have some roads that are impassable right now. Um, it lists off uh, Forest Road 69, Jerry's Run, Forest Road 600, Big Run, Forest Road 366, so big. Forest Roads 277 and 277A, known as Crows Run, and Crows Run Spur. Um, those roads are normally gated. We open the gates normally September 1st, and um, we won't be opening those gates until we get repairs done. We're currently uh, working. We actually had Federal Highway um, folks out last week um, looking at the projects, um, and uh, I think we'll, we'll uh, be in good shape getting funding to repair Jerry's Run and Crow's Run and Rogers Road. Rogers Road, we're not closing, but um, it, it has received considerable damage um, washing. So I think we'll get some, some money there too. So um, they, they only uh, fund projects for what they call project level three roads, which are roads you can take cars on. Um, so our, our level two roads, um, uh, like so big, we're going to have to come up uh, with Forest Service dollars. Um, the preliminary estimate to fix that road, part of it has, um, has uh, we've lost the culvert and slid down. Estimate right now is about $50,000, so we'll be trying to look for internal money to try to get that road fixed. But it's, um, they're all, um, for public safety, we won't be opening those. Um, we've been doing a lot of work on Sweet Road. Any of those of you that have been down on that road, I th think that um, road reconstruction is just about finished. And we're just, we've been patching the roads up to Children's Forest, um, but we are, uh, have, uh, the county has, has put in for secure rural schools money. We'll know this month um, if we'll have that money, and that will be to make some major improvements to the roads up there by Children's Forest. Um, that's all I had on roads. Is there any questions? Um, yeah. <clears throat> this last meeting you attended, I question is some of the repair work on some of our roads in the county here. Uh, since then, you told me the phones were very limited. Mm -hmm. I noticed that you're doing a tremendous amount of work in Bath County on the long track road which is not in that bad shape, side trim, and he's doing a tremendous amount of work up there. Why can't some of that work be done here? That roads are almost impassable. Crossing the high lines of the road over the road so bad, it, it'll just destroy your vehicles when you cross them. But we get no work out there in the county. Yeah, the, the, I travel a lot of these roads. Right. I don't have anything else to get on this time. <laughs> well, Not really, but I, I don't understand. We never get any work prepared on the road in the county. Well, we're not doing any general board, road work. The road at Walton's track is because it's a recreation area. We've been trying to focus our limited staff on those roads that are being heavily used for recreation, and, and that's one reason this year um, we, we've taken our equipment down. There's wildlife funds and there's recreation funds we've been using to fix those areas around Walton Track. But I consider them all recreation areas. I mean, that part of the National Forest Dance you travel is very doing hunt season. Hunt season's coming up. And you make a tremendous amount of money off the of license. Doesn't any of that money go for road repair? Or no. Just for it, goes, it goes for, um, we use that stamp money that that our districts get goes to wildlife habitat, wildlife clearings. But I never see it. Wildlife creation. That's another question. I never see any while I have a cat, no food plots, no nothing. The food plots that I see out there are grown up in brush or out of olives, which is far darker than the invasive species. species. Right. Well, um, we don't do food plots per se, like say somebody would do on a private land. Um, we use native grasses, native species. We don't plant any non-natives in our wildlife clearing. So you're not going to see the same plants and um, Autumn olive is a non-native, but um, if we, if it comes into our wildlife <coughs> areas, normally we use pesticides to, to spray it. So what do you, I don't understand, what do you do for wildlife habitat? 
Well, we use na native native grasses, native plants that would normally <coughs> grow in Virginia in, in wildland areas and in the mountains of the Allegheny. So our wildlife biologists have a special wildlife mix that they use of native, native plants. Are, are there any plans to close any of the other roads up in the ones that have been damaged by floods? Um, they're not permanently closed, but they're just till we get the, the storm damage funding to, to reopen. Now, Big Run, we already scoped for that, and I think I talked about it the last time I was in. Um, we're scoping to, to make that a permanent closure just because it's it's um, the that way the sedimentation. Be anyway. What was that? That was to be closed anyway, right? We, yeah, we're just right now working. We scoped it and we've gotten comments back and we're going to be working on environmental analysis. So there'll be more um, items published in the paper about our progress with that road. So that one passed the private. Um, there's a gate on the Forest Service um, and that's, it's, it's, it's um, I've got pictures. It's, it's terrible shape. It's, it's, in a, it's basically become a creek now. If an individual, a group of individuals, did some red repair or brush cutting off the road today uh, be in violation of something? Of, of doing their own work on a road? No, I mean, we and we have volunteers all the time that volunteer and, and help out with some of, some of the work. Um, if it's, but it has to be up to our engineer standards as far as what kind of work they're doing. 